everybody, it's Norm from Tested. I'm here at the National Steam Up Meetup event uh, with Bing Chang. Bing, you are the CEO and owner of AccuCraft. You, your company's responsible for many of these engines we see here. Uh, tell me about this, the scope and size of this hobby and, uh, and where these engines come from. Well, the engines are uh, um, various different prototypes. So we follow, strictly follow uh, various different prototype and make it smaller. Mm. Okay. So in term of uh, the fidelity of detail, the function, all like the real engine. So you go and find existing engines that ran across the United States or, or other right. parts of the world and right. you know, what people maybe love and then get the schematics and design at right. this scale, right. one that runs on gas or coal. Right. So what we do is we first identify some of the uh, popular famous engines, locomotives, worldwide. And we get the blueprints, and we take the blueprints, make it smaller, and then we have engineers to do the, all the mechanical design. Oh, okay. Because they're smaller, they're a little different, and then they look for function, the efficiency, and you know, every engines are different. So right. they all uh, custom built, custom designed, and to get the most uh, efficiency out of it. Now, so, from the way I understand it, on, for this hobby, for steam engines, they can run on gas, alcohol, or coal, is that right? Right, it can just like a real engine. Um, they're coal-fired, so we offer coal-fired engines. Uh, we offer uh, alcohol, mm -hmm. uh, butane, mm -hmm. yeah, and also electric, oh, electric okay. engines too. Yeah. And yeah. for the hobbyists, when they, if they're in love with this model of locomotive, is this available in all three of those, or do you choose like this will have to run on butane, and that's the only one you uh, make. That's all predefined. Oh, so okay. when we when we started design, the boilers are different. So for a butane fire, an alcohol fire, and coal fire, all different. So what we do is we uh, at the very starting of the project, we define what the fuel will be. Mm. Okay. Mm. So for coal fire, typically a little larger size, and butane tend to be a little smaller, mm -hmm. and alcohol is kind of mixed. Oh. Yeah. And then people, I imagine, are waiting for their next favorite locomotive right. down the product pipeline. Right, because every project is custom built with limited volume. So the typical run is 100, 200 units. Really? Yeah, so very, very small volume. Uh, and we usually just you know, do it once. They, you don't go back, you don't save molds or the tooling or any of that? No. no. So tell me about the construction then of these. Are these brass or what is it made well, out of? Yes, um, the main material is steel, mm. steel and brass. Uh, like the chassis, the wheels are casting, steel casting, chassis is steel. The, usually the boiler jacket is either brass or steel. Mm. They're uh, sheet metal work. Uh, the boiler is copper, mm -hmm. silver solid copper. Mm. Yeah. So it's all metal. And yeah. you, as your company, have been doing this for, for decades now. Yeah. Is it pretty much the same the way you do it now or and, 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 and 20 years ago? or does an engine that you make oh, today is completely different. Very, very different. Very different. Because we look for features that's new mm -hmm. uh, and what's efficient. So let's like, say there's water pump, mm. uh, the size of the boiler, mm -hmm. uh, size of the burner, mm -hmm. and number of flues inside the boiler. Every one is different. And we'll look for the most efficient. Uh, lubricators, regulators, we change it all the time wow. to make it better. Is there an upgrade path for people who have an engine they made 10 years ago, or do you see a lot of modifications to modernize? Yeah, because there's so many engineers here, yeah. and a lot of hobbyists, so a lot of times they give us feedback too. Yeah. Because they, they at home, they go machine parts, put it together, and if we see something that's more efficient, yeah. better design, uh, we'll use it. You incorporate it we, into We will ask them to, if we can use it, then we tend to use it. Yeah, so there's a lot of engineers here, very good engineers. Yeah, I was chatting yeah. with some of them, and everyone, while watching their engines oh, run, yeah, they're yeah, just talking yeah, about yeah, engineering. Yeah, yeah. And to, especially here, the steam up. And there's so many engineers, they take the engine, they change it, modify it, and then they can show the performance difference. Oh, you notice All the time, all the time. So that's why it's important to have this kind of meet. Yeah. 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 Our exchange ideas and to improve engines. Do you run your own engines? Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's, yeah. what's been one of your favorite? Oh, uh, I like big engines. So I like uh, <laughs> Penzi, big boy, big engines. What do you find are the most popular in terms of the designs? What are locomotives that people really clamor for? Uh, 
this statement, I think a lot of times people are like, uh, well, it goes to two extremes. One is like a, a, a narrow gauge, mm -hmm. and they run, they try to kit bash. Mm. Okay, and then there are also the bigger engines, mainline standard gauge engines, mm. and those tend to be um, uh, much larger, more difficult to run. But mm. look for the uh, efficiency, the uh, the mechanical manufacturing. Mm. So there, there's two different group. For someone just getting into the hobby, what would you recommend? Then, uh, tend to be narrow gauge. Okay. Okay, smaller, uh, easy to learn, and then they gradually go to a, a bigger. Like some of the big engines that we do uh, are kit forms. Mm. That you know is someone actually have some kind of mechanical experience to put that together. Yeah. And it can yeah. take weeks to put one together. So the but, whole product range where you can get one ready to run, that right. buy from you and you can put on a track, right. put some gas in there, right. water, and then some that you actually need to machine some of your own parts. That's right, yeah. yeah. Wow. yeah. Wow. There are a lot of machinists yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, machinists and engineers. <laughs> yeah. It's a great place to be. Yeah. All the time I have guys show me a new machine part and uh, say, you know, should use that. So it's, it's a really uh, interesting group. Awesome. Yeah. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you here, yeah. and thank you for sharing yeah. some of the stories of your yeah. engines. Well, nice, it's nice to meet you. you. Thanks.